In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can work with EndNote in your Microsoft Word document. Now, I'll be using Microsoft Word for Mac, but if you're a Windows user, the process is pretty much the same. So you should still be able to follow along. Now, first of all, let's scroll down through this document. Now, you'll see here I have a couple of footnotes on this particular page here. And the difference between a footnote and an end note, well, as the name suggests, footnotes appear at the foot of the page in which they've been added end notes will appear at the end of the document. If you are interested in learning how to add footnotes and how to edit them within your document, then check out the video tutorial I've already created on footnotes, which you can find using the card above just now or the link in the description for this video. But I'm going to add my end note and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the location where I want to put the end note in. So let's say for example, this particular end note is to do with online video. All I'll do is I'll position the cursor where I want the end note to be added and I'm going to go up to the references tab at the top here and I'm going to choose insert end note. Now you'll see next to online video, it will add a little number one and you'll see it adds it here. Now I have already added this line of text which is saying that this is the end of the document and the end notes will be added below this text. You'll see it automatically added in this thick black line and then this is our end note here. So I might say something like online video tutorial, something like that. And then we could, if we wanted to, we could select this, we could create a link. So we could say something like www. Um, online video tutorials.com and then click OK and that becomes a hyperlink for that particular end note or it can just be standard text and incidentally if you're interested in learning about how to create and edit hyperlinks within your Word document I have a separate tutorial which I'll put in the link in the description and the card above but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll right up through the document and we add another end note in here so let's say where it says reading view we're going to add the end note here now notice when we click on insert end note once again, it jumps us to the end of the video, but because this end note has been added on a page before this particular one, it inserts it before it. So what was originally end note number one now becomes number two. So in here, I might just put text that says, this is the first end note. Okay, something quite simple like that. Now, if we want to make any changes to these particular end notes, if it's a change to the actual end note text, then you can just change it in here. So we could, if we wanted to, come into here and put in a web address or do whatever we wanted to, that would be absolutely fine. If you want to delete the end note, then what you don't want to do is you don't want to select it from here and then press the delete key because you'll notice that we have deleted the end note text but we haven't actually deleted the end note from our document. It still resides up here. So let me just use Command Z to undo that. The correct way to delete an end note is to select the end note itself within the document and then press the delete key like that. Let me undo that quickly so we have it back in place because something you might find quite tricky is actually to locate your end note. So if I scroll through this document, I have to look for a little number which can be really quite difficult. Instead, what I can do is I can go down to my end notes and I can right click on the number and then I can simply choose go to end note and you will see now it's going to jump up to the very first end note which is this one here and that's a much easier way to be able to find the end note to be able to select it and then to be able to delete it and if I scroll back down you'll see the end note has been deleted from my document. Now let me undo that once more. Now the final thing I want to show you in this video is if you have added an end note to your document, but in fact you would rather it was a footnote, rather than selecting it and deleting it like we've just shown you, if you scroll down to your end note section where you can see your end notes, what you want to do is right click on the end note that you want to turn into a footnote and then you can choose convert to footnote and you will see this very first end note will disappear from here and if we go back up to the first page you will see 
that it has actually been added as a footnote. In fact, in this case, it was the third page we added it on, but that little number there has now become a footnote and you'll see it's at the bottom of this page, which is just above the footer. And incidentally, if you are interested in finding out how I created this document using these headers and footers, then I have a separate tutorial showing you how to work with headers and footers in Microsoft Word, which you might be interested in viewing just now.